Yeah, beginning of January. Yeah, he's all done. All right, so as usual, you can sit up on something like a blanket or a block. Otherwise, just soften your gaze or close your eyes. And with your hands in your lap, just roll your shoulders up by your ears and down your back. Keep your chin level with the earth. And soften through your chest and belly. Sorry. Remain calm. As you breathe here for a few moments, notice the surging flow of breath that pours into the chest and belly. Notice your internal rhythm or cadence of the breath. And allow the sound of your breath to echo through your body. We'll be here for about three or so more rounds. Just breathing. your body relaxed. Just blink open your eyes. Lean back and you'll swivel your heels to one side. And so I'll mirror you here. So swivel your heel, heels to your left and you're gonna come into this deer-like position. Mm -hmm. So your legs are kind of zigzag. And we're gonna do deer in three ways, I like to call it. So come up onto your finger pads and just start to rotate your torso towards the right. Tent yourself onto your finger pads and pull your chin forward slightly like you are broadening across your collarbones. And you'll notice that your sitting bones lift slightly and that's okay. Just try not to lift completely up onto your right hip. And then keep going, keep twisting towards your right hip and gazing behind you, gazing past your right shoulder. Twist from your low belly. And notice your right foot planting on the top of your left thigh. And you can stay upright or just start to walk your hands forward and come down onto your forearms. Just another round of breath or two here. Breathe into the outside of your left hip. Come up onto your finger pads. And then just start to rotate over towards your right kneecap. So we're, it's almost like we're coming out of the twist slightly. Uh huh. So you're facing your right kneecap. Notice if you're hiking up and just see if you can place your sitting bone down slightly and then let your belly rest on the top or the inside of your right thigh as you walk your hands forward. And then soften your palms and forearms down. And again, just a few more rounds of breath. And you're gonna notice that the sensation is changing. It's probably towards the outside of your right glute. up onto your finger pads once again and then same thing just walk your hands towards you and roll up okay and now we're going to turn so we're facing our right shin mm -hmm. and then start to walk your hands forward and again once again you're going to feel the sensation changing walk your hands forward and then soften your palms and forearms down and your rib cage might rest along the inside of your right shin Breathe into your hips. Slowly walk your hands towards you and roll all the way up. Mm -hmm. So lean back slightly and scoop underneath your left kneecap and push the heel forward. Good. 
and then seal the bottom of your right foot against the inside of your left thigh. Mm -hmm. Left hand slides down your left leg, rotate over to the right, and then sweep your right arm up and overhead. And you can clasp the front of your left ankle. And then as opposed to collapsing in this shape, really stretch from your fingernails to the space where the wall meets the ceiling as you gaze underneath your upper arm. Breathe into the outside of your right hip, right side body, and let your ribcage flare open like an accordion. And then wave your right arm down. Once again, lean back and extend both of your legs out. And lean back. And don't worry about how much your legs are extended. Just make sure that they're not totally together so that they're separated somewhat. Lean back, point your toes, and just draw circles and spades with your feet, mm -hmm. releasing your ankles. And then switch. Okay. Press into your palms to bring your torso to vertical. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of walk your sitting bones back slightly. Don't move the flesh, just start to tilt your pelvis forward and then start to lean over to the left as you push against the top of your right thigh. And your foot might look like it's on a gas pedal and that's okay. So just push against the top of your right thigh, giving yourself a little massage. And then switch. Opposite side. So push against the top of your left thigh and then stop once you get to the kneecap. Don't push against your kneecap. Okay, and then come up. Once again, tilt the pelvis forward and then slide your hands forward towards the front of the room or the screen. And then from here, anchor your heels, flex your toes towards you, and you might notice that your knees bend slightly, and that's totally fine. Breathe into the back of your legs, that space where your hamstring meets your glutes. And again, try not to collapse into this shape. The goal isn't to bring your chest to the earth, but rather stretch forward, and almost like you were bringing and pulling your heart forward. And slowly walk your hands towards you. Scoop underneath your knees. And then slowly your heels to your right. We'll do that little deer sequence on the other side. Okay. And then feel both of your sitting bones. You're gonna feel a little bit more on your left and that's okay. Walk your hands over to the left. And start by twisting from your low belly. So really twist, lift up from the crown of your head. And then gaze behind you, gaze past your left shoulder. And we'll stay upright for the moment. And for another few rounds of breath, you can stay upright or walk your hands forward and away from you. Maybe lower onto your palms and forearms. Just pause and breathe. Come up onto your finger pads and then rotate towards your left kneecap. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then just allow your belly to rest along the inside of your left thigh and then maybe soften down. So you might feel like you were in this strange variation of pigeon. Come up onto your finger pads roll up and then start to turn towards your left shin and then walk your hands forward. Last variation. Take two to three rounds of breath here. Breathe into the outside of your left hip.
Walk your hands towards you and then lean back. And as you scoop underneath your right knee, push out through the heel. Seal the bottom of your left foot against the inside of your right thigh. Great. Slide down your right leg towards maybe your ankle, gaze towards the left and then sweep your left arm up and overhead. Take a side bend. Same thing here, push out through your left fingernails, gaze underneath your upper arm, anchor your sitting bones down. And come up, wave your left arm down, lean back, and then we'll come into a butterfly shape of our legs, Supta Baddha Konasana. Mm -hmm. Okay, walk your sitting bones back. And then we're gonna do that same thing that we did earlier where we were pressing against our thighs. So just lean to the left and then push against your left thigh, sorry, your right thigh. Just enough so that you're increasing the space around your hip crease. So don't force anything. Don't force your right knee down, just a little bit of pressure as you lean over to the left. And then switch sides. And then come up. And then last variation, keep tilting your pelvis forward and then walk your hands forward. And again, try not to collapse into this shape. Stretch forward by your fingernails and feel like you're pulling your heart forward. Three rounds of breath here. You can soften your gaze or close your eyes. And from here, slide your hands towards you. Lean back and swivel your heels to one side and we'll all meet in a tabletop position. And depending on the surface you're on at home or in, in person, you can place a blanket underneath your knees if you'd like. Tuck all 10 of your toes, spread your fingers wide. And again, I like to always say thigh bones perpendicular to the earth as opposed to hips stacked over knees. It's just my own little peculiarity. So pull your tailbone back and the crown of your head forward. And then increase the space between your earlobes and your shoulders. We're gonna move through a really slow cat cow. So slow that it might be a little infuriating. So as you inhale, tip your sitting bones up, soften your belly and pull your heart forward and gaze forward. And as you exhale, return to a tabletop position with a long spine. Stay here for the inhale. And as you exhale now, stretch around your spine, curl in, bring your chin towards your chest and gaze behind you. Inhale, return to a neutral tabletop and stay for the exhale. Inhale through cow, tipping your sitting bones up, pulling your heart forward and gaze forward. Exhale, neutral tabletop. One more inhale. And then exhale, now round your spine. And now let's move through a traditional cat cow. So now as you inhale, you can arch your spine, gaze forward, and then exhale, round in. And just remember that your sitting bones and the crown of your head mirror each other. So you inhale, your sitting bones and the crown of your head lift up. And then exhale, everything pulls in. Do one more like that, this movement that you know super well. On your next inhale, come into a neutral tabletop and stay exactly as you are. And you're going to draw circles with your shoulders over your wrist creases. So we revolve your shoulders over your wrists and don't worry about the size of your circle. Just feel that along your wrist creases. And then switch. 
go the opposite direction. And then pause here in this neutral tabletop. And you can do this one hand at a time. I'll demo this one hand at a time. Press into your right hand. And as you inhale, sweep your left arm forward, up and overhead. And then once your palm comes down, either bring your wrist crease forward and your fingertips facing you, or if that's too much, your fingertips can face the side of your mat. Okay. And then from here, bend your elbow slightly and then push against your palm to straighten the arm and bring your wrist, your elbow crease forward. And if you're like, I wanna just keep going and do this, you can do this on the other side as well. I'm going to do this one hand at a time. Breathe into your forearm. And then slowly, the way that you came out, just slowly sweep your arm behind you up and overhead and return to a tabletop position. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Wait into your left palm as you sweep your right arm forward, up and overhead. Whew, I can feel this along the outside of my arm. And then bring your wrist crease forward, fingertips facing you, and then start with a slight bend of your elbow and then push your palm down and bring your elbow crease forward, straightening the arm slightly. No need to lock out the arm, just breathe into your wrist all the way to your elbow crease along your forearm. Beautiful. And like we press reverse, sweep your arm behind you, up and then forward, return to a tabletop position. Okay. And then from here, ground down into your right wrist, sweep your left arm up and overhead. Circle out your wrists and then switch. Inhale here and then exhale, dive your arm underneath your belly, come onto the outside of your shoulder. Gaze towards the right and you can slide your arm forward, your right arm forward. And those of you that like to do this upright, of course you can from a kneeling position, bringing your arm across your body. Beautiful, slide your right palm under the shoulder Press into your palm and unthread your arm. Extend your arm up. And exhale, set the palm down. And we'll move to the other side. Press into your left palm. As you inhale, sweep your right arm up and overhead. And circle out your wrists. And switch. Inhale here. And exhale, dive your arm under your belly. Come onto the outside of your right shoulder as you gaze towards the left. And you can do this upright like I will, pulling the arm across your body. Take two to three rounds of breath here. And slowly slide your left palm underneath your shoulder unthread your right arm up and exhale, set it down. Come back into this neutral tabletop position. Keep your toes tucked and walk your hands forward one handprint. Spread your fingers wide, press into your palms and then slowly lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Keep your feet hips width distance apart. Externally rotate your upper arm so your elbow creases face forward, biceps framing your ears. Lift up by your sitting bones, bring your belly towards your upper thighs. And then as you gaze behind you, start to lower your heels towards the earth, but keep a slight bend of your knees. Beautiful. And stay still for this first iteration of downward facing dog. Okay, so now listen carefully, stay in downward facing dog for the moment, but just start to bring your gaze forward, look towards the front of the room or the screen. 
You're gonna take your right foot and you're going to step it about halfway in between your hands and your feet. So it looks like this, okay? Almost like you were just stepping through the midway point, okay? And then bend your right knee slightly. And then just start to push the left heel down, push your butt back behind you. So it's almost like a mountain climber shape, sort of. You should be feeling this all along the space where your glute meets your hamstring. Press into your palms and step your right foot back and do it on the other side. Step your left foot forward and wide, sort of to the midway point. Bend your left knee slightly so that it can actually fit underneath your belly and then lower your right heel towards the earth. And then from here, simply gaze forward, keep your left foot where it is, and then just step your right foot forward, then keep going. Take a stroll to the top of your mat. Mm -hmm. Feet about hips width distance apart, bend your knees, and you can clasp opposite hand to elbow point, or maybe interlace your hands behind the back of your head. You choose. Let your belly rest on the top of your thighs. Keep lifting up by your sitting bones as you pour your weight forward. Release your elbows if you have them. And take two to three rounds of breath to slowly roll all the way up. So take your time, there's no rush. And once your spine is vertical, roll your shoulders back and the palms face forward. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a one-legged Tadasana today so that I can get off of my shoulder the best that I can. So what you're gonna do, I'll face this way so you can see me. You're gonna bring weight into your right foot, come onto the ball of your left foot. And so don't worry about how high you're lifting your left knee. Just see if you can lift it any amount. Keep a slight bend of your right knee for a little buoyancy. And then you're gonna to start to roll your left knee towards the left and then just draw circles. So it can be at a 90 degree angle or it can be lower. See if you can gaze forward at a point that's not moving and then switch. So just go the opposite direction. Just moving the femur bone into the hip joint. And then maybe this last round, just give your knee a little squeeze in and then step your left foot back behind you. And it can be one or a few steps, just shimmy the foot back, come into a high crescent lunge. Good. And then from here, bend into your right knee, keep the left leg as straight as you can. And you're gonna bring your hands to a prayer shape. So you'll just watch this first round if you'd like. As you inhale, bend into your right knee as you raise your arms up above the crown of your head, gaze up. And as you exhale, press into your right foot, straighten the leg, bring your hands in front of you. And your hands are gonna push forward in this triangle shape. Most of us have done this before. Inhale, raise your arms up in a prayer shape. And then exhale, straighten through the right leg and push the triangle of your hands forward. Do one more like that. Inhale. And exhale. This time as you inhale through a crescent lunge, pause, gaze up, and then bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Bend your back knee and step forward. So it can take two to three hops or just do one step, up to you. Just don't put any pressure on yourself to do that in one long step. So let's do that on the other side. So that's the base of our sequence. So bring weight into your left foot, come onto the ball of your right foot. And then just start to rotate your right femur into the hip joint and then switch. In this last round, just give it a little squeeze, hug the right thigh in and then step it back. Bend your left knee and step back. And you just wiggle the foot back, bring your hands to a prayer shape and extend your arms up above the crown of your head, gaze up, bend into your left knee and then exhale, push against your left foot, straighten the left leg and then the triangle of your hands goes forward. Two more. One more. Okay, so now listen carefully. As you inhale, raise your arms up. 
This time as you exhale, sweep your arms forward and down. Frame your left foot. Plant your palms and step your left foot back to meet your right in a downward facing dog. You can pedal out your feet if you like, bending one knee and lowering the opposite heel and switching. And then pause in a downward facing dog. As you inhale, wave your body forward to a plank position, top of a push up. But then immediately as you exhale, just lower your knees down, pull your thigh bones back and walk your hands forward. Anahatasan, puppy pose. Press into your palms, pull your heart forward. And then exhale, deliver your heart and chin towards the earth, gaze forward. On your next inhale, lower your forearms to make the number 11. Step one foot back at a time for a forearm plank. And then exhale, lower your hips and pelvis down, untuck your toes. Inhale, pull your heart forward, Sphinx Asan, gaze forward. And then exhale, widen your elbows and stack your hands underneath your forehead like a pillow. Just pause and breathe here for a moment. Lift your forehead and slide your hands underneath your shoulders and tuck your toes. Press up through hands and knees or plank if you insist. And then exhale, downward facing dog. I will not be pushing up the plank this morning. Inhale, gaze forward. And then exhale, take a stroll to the top of your mat. Ground out into your feet. And again, slowly take two to three rounds of breath to roll up. Roll your shoulders back. Okay. Bring weight into your right foot. And as you inhale, raise your left leg up any amount. And this time just push back through the heel, step back into a crescent lunge position. And again, take your time. You can always wiggle it back. Bring your hands to prayer. Inhale, extend your arms up, bend into your right knee as you gaze up. Exhale, straighten the right leg and push the triangle of your hands forward. So same thing, inhale. Exhale, keep the left leg as straight as you can as you flow. One more. Okay, this time as you inhale, bend into your right knee, gaze up. And then exhale, you're gonna pivot your left heel down and then scoot it in slightly, maybe two inches or three inches. Move your right foot to the right, just scoot it over. So keep a bend in your right knee and your left heel is down and see if you can square your rib cage forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. And as you exhale, wave your arms to the inside of your right foot. And if you want, you can have a block handy. So make sure that your arms and your belly can fit along the inside of your right thigh. Place your left hand down on a block or the earth, right hand, right palm comes onto the top of your right uh, thigh, gaze forward. Push against your thigh, scoop your belly in, and then see if you can rotate over to the right slightly in a revolved warrior one. Beautiful. Okay, so from here, now gaze forward, rotate your torso to face the earth. Slide your right hand against your shin, ankle, or a block. You choose, left hand along your hip crease. Gaze forward. And now press into your feet, rotate your torso towards the left. And then can you stack your hips almost like you were thrusting your pelvis forward and to the left. And then now sweep your left arm up and overhead. So you're in an extended side angle. Lean your head back slightly as you gaze up, but not so much that you feel like you're gonna fall backwards. On your next inhale, wave your left arm forward and down. Press into your feet, pick up your left heel, come into like a wide low lunge and step forward. Shake out your legs. And come up to a standing position. You can roll up or just gaze forward and then come up. Okay, so we'll do that on the other side. Wait into your left foot, come onto the ball of your right foot and then scoop your right thigh in and then push back through the heel. Wiggle your toes back. 
And then three rounds, bringing your hands to prayer. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And then exhale, pulse forward. And two more. And exhale. One more. And this time as you inhale, extend your arms up above the crown of your head. And as you exhale, you're gonna take your right foot and then lower the heel, but then scoot it in slightly. And then left foot over to the left. And then bring your hands down inside your left foot. Mm -hmm. Right hand down on a block or the earth. Keep your right leg straight. Left palm on the top of your left thigh. Gaze forward to start, bend into your left knee. And then scoop your belly in, rotate over to the left slightly. So it's a little twist. Don't feel like you have to force your whole torso over to the left. Just enough that you feel along your IT band. A revolved warrior one. Start to rotate your torso down, gaze forward. Slide your left hand down onto your ankle, shin, or a block you choose. Right hand on your hip crease. And then push into your feet. Keep the shape of your legs and rotate your torso to the right. So it's a big movement along your hips. Maybe your hips stack. And now sweep your right arm up and overhead. Extended side angle. And use the strength and stability of your legs to support this. And maybe move your pubic bone forward as you lean the back of your head back slightly. And slowly wave your right arm down, release both hands. And then pivot your right heel up, come into this wide low lunge position. Press into your palms and step your left foot back. Just drag it back to a downward facing dog. Adjust your hands. Great. On your next inhale, wave your body forward to a plank position, top of a push up. Exhale, lower your knees, pull your thigh bones back, walk your hands forward. Anahatasan. Inhale, glide forward, forearm plank. Lower the forearms and step your feet back. Just as a transition, so that as you exhale, lower your hips down, untuck your toes. Inhale, pull your heart forward, Sphinx Asan. Exhale, widen your elbows and stack your palms under your forehead. And pause here in a pranam, this full body bow for a few rounds of breath. You're doing great. And then bring your gaze forward, slide your palms under your shoulders and tuck your toes. Press through hands and knees and then exhale downward facing dog. And so in downward facing dog, look at your feet. And so keep your right foot exactly as it is and swivel your left heel down. So it looks like a warrior one foot. So the left foot is down, right foot is just like in down dog. Push into your palms and shift your butt back. You should feel this all on the outside of your IT band on the left. Lift up your left heel and do the same thing on the other side. Swivel your right heel down, toes point towards the outside of your mat and then push your butt back. Lift up your heel, gaze forward. And exhale, take a stroll to the top of your mat space. And take your time, make your way to a standing position. You can roll up, just take your time. So we're gonna have this opportunity to explore tree since we've been moving our femur in the hip joint. And so as you bring weight to your right foot, come onto the ball of your left foot. And again, just keep some, a slight bend of your right knee for buoyancy. Lift up your left foot any amount, and then swivel your knee towards the left, and you can kickstand it. You can slide it up, 
inside of your shin or inside of your knee. Just avoid the knee joint. Okay? And then bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Hook your thumbs in towards your sternum and gaze forward. And breathe into your thumbs here. Press the base of your hands together. Soften the tops of your shoulders. One more round of breath here. On your next inhale, bring your left thigh in towards you. Just give it a little squeeze and then step back. Last round of this flow. Just wiggle your left toes back. Bend into your right knee. Inhale, extend your arms up. And you know the way. Exhale, push the triangle of your hands forward. Two more. One more. This time as you inhale, extend your arms up, pause. And then from here, start to gaze towards your left. Straighten your legs and turn your toes to face the side of your mat space. And then start to bring your hands down, hinge from your hips and bring your hands down underneath your shoulders. And then from here, pull your butt back, the crown of your head forward for a long spine, spread through your sitting bones, and then exhale, bend your elbows and dive down. And just pause here in this wide legged forward fold. You can walk your hands in line with your feet or just place them wherever you'd like. Make sure that your feet are parallel towards one another. Mm -hmm. Walk your hands under your shoulders. And we have all done this before. Maybe those of us in the same room as me has, have not. So you're in this wide-legged forward fold, hands underneath your shoulders. Walk your hands forward as far as you can, keeping your hips in line with your feet, almost as if you were coming into downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. So from here, press into your palms and shift your butt back so that your butt is behind your heels. Gaze forward. And as you inhale, glide forward, this horizontal shift until your shoulders are over your wrists and maybe you come out to the balls of your feet. And then exhale, press your butt back. Do this a couple of times. You might feel like you were about to come into a handstand, but please don't. You can come into this neutral position, this wide-legged forward fold. Look to your left and you're gonna walk your hands towards your left foot and swivel both of your feet. Come into a low lunge to face Colfax or towards the back of your mat. And then from here, press down into your feet, raise the crown of your head and come up, bring your hands to prayer. And as you inhale, raise your arms up, gaze up. And it's the same thing, exhale, push the triangle of your hands forward. And those of you behind the screen, it's like in real life when you can't see me and you're facing away. One more. And this time as you inhale, raise your arms up, gaze up. And then exhale, straighten your legs. One last time, turn your toes to face the side of your mat space. Hinge forward from your hips and wave your arms down. Pause in this wide-legged forward fold. Keep your hands under your shoulders. From here, press down into your right hand. Take your left fingertips and trace the inside edge of your right arm. Rotate your torso towards the left. Extend your arm up and overhead. And then exhale, swim your arm forward and down. And then switch. And just move from side to side. Remember that the inhale is the unraveling, the tracing. And then exhale is the swimming of your hand down. And whenever you feel complete on the right and the left, just pause for one last moment in a wide-legged forward fold.
and walk your hands forward. Heel toe your feet towards one another and come to a seat on your mat. So we're gonna make our way into a pigeon shape in a moment. And if pigeon is not your jam, you can always come into a supine figure four shape. But if you have a blanket, I'd like you to place it kind of behind you. We're gonna come into this from a tabletop position. So from here, extend your left leg behind you. And this is where the padding will come in handy for your left knee. And then from here, move your right knee forward and to the right slightly so that you have space to swivel your right foot, right heel to the left. And then slowly sink your hips down, lower your left knee and untuck your toes. So the padding will elevate the back knee and then tent your fingertips, pull your heart forward. Just feel the weight of your pelvis sinking this shape down. And so from here, you can always stay upright. You don't have to go further. I'm going to offer a little bit of a different forward fold. And so take your fingertips and you're gonna walk them to the left. So if you were to gaze down, you're looking at your right foot, looking away from your right kneecap. Mm -hmm. And again, you might be like, this is enough. Or from here, lower onto your forearms. And your right heel might be kind of digging into your left hip bone. So it's a different sensation in this uh, side forward fold and pigeon. Let's take a few slow breaths here. Take another round of breath or two here. Come up onto your finger pads and then turn forward. So from here, lean over towards your right hip, scoop underneath your left knee and then bring your left leg forward. And then can you cross your left leg over your right? squeezing from your inner thighs. If this shape makes you feel super compressed, I want you to straighten the bottom leg, okay? So prioritize hugging your inner thighs together, stacking your knees, and then clasp the front of your shins or ankles, sit up tall. Make sure you can feel both of your sitting bones and maybe that requires just kind of lifting up on one side or the other. And then now from here, just start to tilt yourself forward like you were trying to bring your belly towards your upper thigh and then walk your hands forward. Keep squeezing your inner thighs together. Relax your ankles and toes. Take another round of breath or two here. And slowly roll up, lean back and push out through your heels, straighten your legs. Kind of give them a little shake, tapping the backs of your knees against your mat. And let's make our way back into that tabletop position. If you have another way you like to come into pigeon, go ahead and do that. This is just my favorite way to align myself. Step your right foot back behind you and then move your left knee forward and to the left slightly. Move your left heel over to the right. And then just wiggle your right toes back. Lower your back knee down and untuck your toes. And then make sure that you have the space to sink in. Walk your hands forward and wide slightly. And just pause and breathe here in this upright position. Makes me feel kind of regal. The shape reminds me, my brother has this dog and she's so regal looking, it's like a queen. And 
and then walk your hands towards the top right corner of your mat space. You can keep your hands wide. And if you look down, you should be looking at your left foot and then maybe lower onto your forearms. If the ground feels far away, you can always stack props underneath your forearms as well. We'll be here for maybe three to four rounds of breath. And of course, you can always stack something underneath your forehead. You're doing great. Come up onto your finger pads, gaze forward, lean towards your left hip, and scoop your right knee forward. And see if you can cross your right leg over your left. And as always, straighten the bottom leg if you feel really compressed. Hug your inner thighs and knees towards one another. Rock from side to side along your sitting bones so you can feel them underneath you. And then just clasp the front of your shins or ankles and pull your heart forward. Just get acclimated to being here in this position. And then just start to lean forward like you were about to fall on your face, but your thighs are in the way and then walk your hands forward. Just pause and breathe here. Breathe into the outside of your hips. Slowly roll up, lean back and straighten your legs. Just push out through your heels. And just give your knees a little tap. Okay, and so from here, just relax your legs, but bend your knees and anchor your heels. Push up and walk your sitting bones back. So don't remove the flesh, just walk your sitting bones back, right? Our sitting bones need that flesh underneath us. And then from here, rest your belly on the top of your thighs if possible, tilting the pelvis forward. And then from here, walk your hands towards your feet and maybe beyond. So notice I still have this bend of my knees, keep that. And see if you can feel like you're pulling your heart and your toes towards one another. Reach forward. Breathe into the back of your legs. So we've been in a similar position, but our legs were wider earlier. and slowly roll up. Make sure that you're in the middle of your mat. You might have to scoop forward and then lay all the way down. And then bring a prop with you. It could be a blanket or a block, it doesn't matter. Something that could elevate the ground. Let's start in a constructive rest position. Your feet wide and your knees together. And let's all lift our hips about one inch and pull your tailbone away from you smoothing out your lower spine. And just breathe here, hollow out your pelvic bowl. So since we've been doing so much for the hips, we're gonna close with a little variation of a supine twist. None of these shapes are gonna hold for too long, just in case something is not sustainable. So walk your feet towards one another, your knees stay bent. Just keep your prop handy in case you'd like it. Cross your right leg over your left, like you were sitting at a chair, right leg over left. Scoot your hips one inch to the right. And then see if you can keep your legs crossed as you bring your knees to the left, pinning your left knee underneath you. 
And here's where the prop might come in handy. We're just gonna be here for about three rounds of breath. But if you'd like, you can always place something underneath your right knee. Roll your right shoulder back and gaze up or towards the right. One more round of breath, keep twisting from your mid spine, that space right underneath your rib cage around your waist. And hug your inner thighs in and pull your knees up, keep your legs crossed. Okay. So now scoot your hips back to the middle of your mat. And then again, keep your prop handy and can you just lower your knees to the right. Keep your cross, the right leg over your left. And just simply lower your knees towards the right. Your knees are not going to touch the earth. And breathe into the outside of your left hip this time. Just take another round of breath or two in this counter pose. So this is less of a supine twist and more just for the hip and glute. Maybe the hip flexor as well. Pull your knees up and then uncross your legs. Now cross them the other way, left leg on top of right. Scoot your hips one inch to the left just so you've got the space to bring your knees towards the right. Pinning your right leg underneath your left. Roll your left shoulder back and gaze up or towards the left. One more big round of breath here. Hug your inner thighs towards one another and bring your knees up. Scoot your hips back to the middle of your mat. And just for a brief moment, simply lower your knees towards the left. And it's okay if your knees hover. Breathe into the outside of your right hip. Lift your knees up and uncross your legs. Set your feet underneath you. Anchor your spine, especially your low back down and pull your thighs in towards your belly. Wrap your arms around your shins. And as you hug your thighs in, peel the back of your head up, bring your nose towards your kneecaps and take a huge breath in. As you exhale, release your legs and arms for Shavasana. Extend your legs out and take up space. And your arms can be by your sides or on your body. Either way, widen the space between your earlobes and your shoulders. Soften your chest and belly. Relax the muscles in your face especially your jaw. And just breathe here for a brief moment. I'll we'll call you back momentarily. Allow your attention to rest in the space behind your eyes.
how you can keep your body relaxed and your eyes closed. Notice the surging flow of breath as it pours into your chest and belly. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch your arms up and overhead. And gather your knees in towards your chest and roll to one side. And just pause here in a fetal position. Press your palms into the earth and come up to sitting. Swivel your hands on top of your heart and Swabhava Mudra, hooking your thumbs and spreading your fingers across your chest. Breathe into the base of your hands, 